This video is going to take us through how we can upload the digital revision notebook using Zodo. So we, we're using Windows PC, uh, perhaps a Surface Pro, etc. laptop. So what we're going to do is we go to the Microsoft Store and search for Zodo. And once you've done that and downloaded it, you open it up and you'll have an interface that looks like this. So open document and we're going to go over to the left hand side and click on the browse or select file to open. So click on that and that will bring up your documents where you want to navigate to find the actual document you want. In this case, it's the AQA PDF there. So we click on that, double click and it will start to download and you can see that it's there. Now you'll see on the right hand side, it also says export options. We can just click OK there, giving some information there, we can just click off that. And now we've got it. So now that we've actually got the document, we want to go over to the edit icon on the top right hand side here. So let's just do that now. If we click edit, then we've got all these different icons that we can use. So the ones we want to be using, if we have inking facility, so if you're on a Surface Pro, uh, you've got a laptop with a touchscreen that you can ink on. We're going to go to ink over here, click on the pen icon there, click on ink, and you'll see that you've got three different pens. You click on that. Uh, the first one, you've got different colors you can choose from. You can also choose advanced, um, different color palettes by clicking on advanced. You've got many more. And then you can change the thickness. If you look at the line there, you can change the thickness of the line and you can change the, the opacity, the transparency of the line if you want. Probably best to keep it 100%. But once you've got your color and your thickness, you can quickly change it there as well. So one, three, seven. Once you've got what you want, just click out of that. And then you can go to your book and you can start writing. Now, obviously, I'm on a I'm not using a pen, I'm using the mouse at the moment, so therefore it's a little bit more difficult to work on. If you want to make it bigger, you need to come out uh, on the top left there, close, and then uh, if you're using touchscreen, you can pinch out to make it bigger, or if you want to zoom, you can go over to the bottom right hand side here and click the plus sign, and that gives you the zoom that you want. So once we've done that, we can go back to our inking, select our pen, and then we can write something a little bit more specific and clearer. So that's how we would do that with the pen. Come out of the pen, top left again, and then we're going to go over to the text box. This time, let's go to somewhere else. So let's close that and just navigate to fitness. And let's say we want to talk about cardiovascular endurance. What is it? So again, I'm going up to edit on the top right there. Click on that. This time I'm going to click on the text box. You can see T for text box. Click on that and then click anywhere in the body of the page and start writing. So CV endurance is, and then you can write what you want. You can also, if you wish to select a particular piece of text, change the color of it, and then you're good to go. Now, if you want to as well, you can click on it and you can change the anchors by making this bigger or smaller, etc. And then if we want to, we can also pick the whole thing up and move it around. So you've got a little bit of flexibility with your text there when you're typing on it. You can change the colors there. You can copy it. You can duplicate it. You can cut it. You can do various things. Obviously, you can delete it. If you're happy with it, you just click done and it's good to go. So those are your main two things you're going to be using. One thing I should have said as well is once you've inked, if you've written... Um, we scribble something down here and we're not massively happy with it. We can go to the eraser there, click on that. And then again, if you click further, you've got different sizing. Um, let's just keep it like that. And then we just go over it and it will get rid of what you've done. So that's a pretty straightforward way to do it. Now, the one thing you really must be careful of is that when you come out, close, make sure that you save it and that will then keep your changes. If you don't save it, I think you are prompted to save before you finally close it down, but please make sure you save, otherwise using Zodo, you won't automatically save, and we obviously don't want you to lose your work.